And we'll have that for you here when the draw is announced. While hockey remains in the headlines for all its concussion problems, head injuries are common throughout sport. Corey Koski, the Canadian third baseman, hasn't played since taking an awkward tumble early last season. But he is among those experimenting with a new treatment which so far boasts some great results. Oh! He's out cold. Oh, that is scary there. Oh boy. This is this is very good. scary. Very, very scary. Concussions don't discriminate. Regardless of age, size, or gender, all athletes are vulnerable to a brain injury. An instant, a flash, one hit to the head is all it takes. Sometimes, not even that. And some are career ending. If the athlete starts to go back before they feel better, they're gonna get worse. So you actually don't have to convince the athlete of that more than once. Unlike a leg or arm injury, concussions don't come with a manual on how to get better. Rest is most often prescribed, but a group in Buffalo has come up with a new treatment that puts conventional thinking to the test. What we're trying to do is, after a certain amount of time, actually tell the patient to start exercising, okay? And, um, but in a, in a controlled and, and regulated and, and quantifiable fashion. Did you lose consciousness? Were you knocked out? Dr. John Letty is part of a team at the University of Buffalo exploring the theory that exercise, not rest, is the best way to recover from post-concussion syndrome. The basic idea is that we take the athlete up to um, an exercise intensity where he or she starts to have some of the concussion symptoms. Pressure in the head, um, nausea, blurred vision, feeling dizzy, etc. Kind of their typical symptoms. Uh, we note the, the heart rate, uh, what that uh, where those symptoms start to come back. And then um, Carl, our exercise physiologist, gives them an exercise program to exercise regularly at a level bef below that. We give them a personalized uh, prescription for exercise. We'll give them a time. We'll give them an intensity target. Uh, and then we'll ask that they hit that uh, exercise prescription uh, anywhere from four to six times a week. Why don't you just close your eyes? Okay. The athlete will continue the exercise prescription for two to three weeks. During this time, the workouts help reset the symptoms out of balance. When they return to the university, they are now able to push harder. A new increased threshold is established and the same pattern is repeated until the patient can return to normal activity symptom-free. We think that uh, one of the things that exercise does is it uh, helps restore that imbalance in the heart rate. And that's um, helpful because it's an objective measure of improvement rather than just asking about a symptom uh, that uh, the patient's having. He may have hit his face on the ice. This is not good. Tim Connolly hasn't played since this hit in last year's playoffs. But he is getting close and credits the Buffalo program for his recovery. Still, it is way too early to call this a cure. While the concussion center has successfully treated about a dozen patients, there is little literature to document their findings. I think some people will be uh, very skeptical about it, uh, and that's probably reasonable given the fact that um, you know the dogma has been that exercise makes things worse, uh, you have to rest, etc. Um, but I think other people will realize that uh, what we've been doing before hasn't worked very well, and um, this is something promising. Oh, did he get run over? Pro sports is a contact business. No matter the rules, there will always be reactions and destructive overreactions. Prevention and awareness of concussions only go so far. What the University of Buffalo program is offering is hope that one day a hit to the head will lead to recovery instead of retirement. We didn't know when we first started this whether it would work at all. And uh, to see what's happened with um, you know, the, the patients we treated so far, has been um, just gratifying because these were people who didn't think they would play their sports again, and now they are. Coming up, the hits of the week, and uh, do not try this at home. Commentators Clothing provided in part by Zizenya. Available at The Coop.